Oh well, here we are in Turkey, a few days in after I've recovered fully from my sickness. I was living and surviving off donors in the meantime, but we're here now and ready for the adventure. Right now we're in Antalya and we plan to go to Cappadocia and Mila planned the majority of this point. So what do we have planned for the next few days, which I'll be filming by the way in Cappadocia mainly. Wow. You, sir, are gonna love it. We have the first thing that we have is sunset. Uh, we're gonna see the sunset in the valley with fairy chimneys um, on ATVs. Okay. That's for the speedy ones. And we're then, gonna have to find out what fairy chimneys are first. <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> but continue. And then we have the next thing is 4 a.m. in the morning, and that's gonna be hot air balloon watching and taking photos that's for the pretty ones mm -hmm. and then we have the red tour which includes the open air uh, museum of a orthodox christian uh church in and i would say like a cave okay or churches and uh, then we're gonna visit a few more valleys with fairy chimneys and that's gonna be it all right excuse the moped but yeah it sounds like we got a lot of stuff to do in Cappadocia so I'll try to film as much as possible but before we go there there's one thing that I have to do while in Antalya and that's obviously backflip into the Mediterranean so let's knock that out real quick and then off to the middle of Turkey in Cappadocia We are in a herd of ATV ers. What the hell, dude? <laughs> Man, I thought I was going solo. I got this little hitchhiker behind me now. Ah. <laughs> It is slammed with ATVs out here. We knew it was gonna to be touristy, but this is just next level here. <laughs> so many, just dust everywhere. My, the clothes are absolutely dust coated right now. Everything you hit yourself is poof. I got one all to myself here. Not gonna lie, legs were wobbling a little bit. 
still are, <laughs> but we'll wait it out for sunset. Well, welcome to the Cappadocia hot air balloon show. I think they do it quite often, but uh, happens from 4.30 a.m. to 7.30 a.m. So you can imagine that wake up call today. Whew, brutal, to say the least. But yeah, we'll stay up here for a few, get some good photos, and uh, continue on to a day tour to learn a little bit more about the town. I've become the slave. Ugh. <laughs> How to start? There is a lot of things uh, that I need to tell you first. Last mood bender. Well, that wraps it up for the tour today. We learned quite a bit here in Cappadocia, or Cappadocia, popularized by the French, and the uh, fairy chimneys that you can see behind. Yeah, people lived there back in the day. We learned a lot about the religion. We learned that the ice cream that has the caramel texture is actually made from goat milk. So there you go. But yeah, lots learned on a tour, awesome tour guide, and we are back to Antalya. So let's hit the road.
All right, last night here in Old Town in Italia, had to get the ice cream again with the, uh, the mastica, the goat milk. That's what makes it very viscous and stringy like that. But yeah, knocked off the, the last items, got the result tonight. So I got my little gemstone, got our other souvenir. Mila did an excellent job bargaining. I would say much better negotiation skills than, than myself in uh, <laughs> Cappadocia. That's for sure. I think we knocked it off like 70% or something. But overall, what did you think about the, uh, the time, especially Cappadocia? Love them. Hot air balloons, the food, and the mm -hmm. ice cream. So even though we didn't spend that much time in Italia, hopefully uh, what I filmed in Cappadocia was a good idea of what to expect and what you can do there in that town. Definitely a lot of history there, and I think they're doing a good job at preserving it from now into the future. So, yeah, if you're in Turkey, definitely a cool spot to check out. But until next time, see you later.